In February 2020, Turkish authorities suddenly announced that they had opened the borders with Greece, with hopes of crossing the border into Europe. Hundreds of refugees boarded the free buses going to Edirne from Istanbul's Asanar Otogarı, which is Asanar coach terminal. Clashes erupted when refugees attempted to reach the other side of the fence. Many of them were apprehended by the Greek riot police and deported back to Turkey. After almost a month-long wait by the makeshift campsite by the border, right at the start of the pandemic, refugees were ordered back into the buses. And they were dropped off at Esanlar Otogarı, only to be stuck in the bus terminal without any financial means to go elsewhere. Given this incident, I believe infrastructures like Esanlar Otogarı are ideal sites for analyzing migrants' agency, mobility, immobility, and resilience. Built in 1994, this famous mega project was never fully developed as promised until very recently. Thousands of empty storefronts have become shelter for the homeless, many of whom were refugees. Now it is unknown where they all went after the renovation of this bus terminal. Located at the heart of Istanbul, the bus terminal is a key symbol of mobility and paradoxically it now appears to be a place of entrapment. As one of the key infrastructures with which migrants engage in Istanbul, Estanlar Otogara serves as an ideal entry point for my doctoral study. In my PhD research, I explore the complex intersections between migration and urban infrastructure in Istanbul, a city that currently hosts more than half a million of the nearly four million refugees who arrived in Turkey over the last decade from mostly Syria, but also from Iraq, Iran, Palestine and Afghanistan. Since 2011, the immense volume of international migrants moving into Turkey has had serious impacts for migrants, as well as for recipient cities, as the capacity of rapidly established uh, camps proved insufficient and they began to close, migrants found their way into urban centers. This situation has put severe pressure on Turkey, but especially on Istanbul, where migrants and citizens basic needs outweigh the city's institutional capacity. Istanbul's precarious infrastructure is ideal to understand the experiences of urban refugees who interact with these everyday systems of provision. I look at how the existing infrastructures, such as the construction sector, the waste management, and basic services like transportation are influenced by the presence of migrants and, and how migrant communities act upon experience and adapt to these infrastructures that shape their daily lives. Thus, I aim for my project to benefit migrants and refugees who are vulnerable due to being forcibly displaced. They also suffer from increasing poverty, shrink lack of shelter, shrinking employment opportunities, ongoing legal uncertainties, and health risks, particularly following the COVID-19 pandemic. To do so, Esanlar Otogarı serves as one of the three key domains for studying the mobility of migrants and their interactions with the city's infrastructures. Secondly, I will pay attention to the construction sector where many migrants are employed. Finally, I will focus on the waste management sector and how it is influenced by migrant presence. In each of these three key domains, the bus terminal, construction sector and the waste management industry, I will use multimodal methods. As a filmmaker, I'm particularly interested in filming migrant waste workers and document their everyday lives and with their interactions with a diverse public. I think this project will contribute to regional efforts to address pressing concerns for urban migrants. Volunteering with the local municipality, such as Sultan Beyli municipality, which has close ties with the non-profit organization Mütecilar Dani, which is Refugees Association, as well as with larger government institutions such as the Istanbul Metropolitan Municipality and the Director General for Migration Management, will enable me to better understand the, re uh, the response plan to improve essential services in low-income neighborhoods with a sizable migrant presence. As a public anthropologist, I want my research to be easily available to a public broad audience and comprehensible to community members. I will thus have my research results translated into both Turkish and Arabic. I will present my findings in at least two municipal 
councils to inform their decision-making processes. As a videographer, I also envisioned having a public screening of my short film on migrant waste collectors and in the basement of Istanbul's Esenler Otogarı's Esenler Otogarı, where I also plan to organize public fora on the daily struggles of urban refugees with local residents. I aim to initiate public conversations about migrant lives. With this project, I also plan to develop strategies to decrease social tensions arising from xenophobia against refugees in Istanbul and ensure that my research can inform policy and have meaning for communities taking part in my project. Turkey currently hosts the high, highest number of refugees in the world, with Istanbul at the epicenter. This humanitarian crisis has created an urgent need to address the strain on urban infrastructures as well as on migrant livelihoods, certainly not just in Istanbul but also in other places around the world. Bridging the gap between academia and public institutions is critical for investing in knowledge that will inspire people to become key allies for vulnerable groups such as refugees. According to UN Refugee Agency, nearly 80 million people around the world have been forced, forced to flee their homes. Unfortunately, the pandemic has created an excuse for states to further securitize their borders and migrants are prevented access to asylum and denied protection. Therefore, we need more initiatives working towards the inclusion of migrants and refugees into the society. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation.